走しているようです。もちろんです。わかりました。This at all? This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, E Delta. Hanako-sama ga omachida. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now. I knew. From the start. You knew. All the board members knew. Not one soul, even slightly interested in the matter, believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. Helped your brother cover up. Makes you no better than him. Not a smidge. You do not know my family, not in the least. My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? The corporation. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. We were gonna talk biz, specifics. Let us do so. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger, don't say a word. Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Shut up. For one goddamn minute, shut up. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. It sounds like dirty laundry. A family matter. Why should I get involved? You already are. You willed it so. Hmm. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itaraite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. 
representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. You've insisted I'm not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. You got a problem with that? Because that's what we wanted. We know where the to gates find. to Makoshi. Yeah, beneath Saka Tower. And what's that give us? What? What's huh? that fucking give us? Well, could I see how the Caldos to lend a hand? Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. Johnny. Great, you checking out again? Just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Order a weaker poison next time. This ain't no joke, kid. As I see it, there won't be a next time. All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. Okay. Don't expect a miracle. Ah! Just slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. 
looking at you not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah. What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo endo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Enough, Johnny. I just... gotta think about it. Need to stretch, stretch your, your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V. Christ, you're talking out loud. How loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess, my aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I'm here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. 
fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. He picked an interesting hour for it. B? Okay, what's going on? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know. Fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that your mind something something I gotta do today gonna be high risk big time but I have to what is it it's not for comms not really then shut up and tell me where you are in the city yeah okay then plant your butt somewhere and wait I'm on my way you don't get it I I can't wait anymore this has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then you tried to kill me. Exactly what I mean. Here we are now, together, soaking in this vista of Night City. My only regret's that I won't get to see how it all ends. Gee, thanks. Got that little faith in me? Not in you. In the rest of them. Listen. Wanna trust Pan Am and her tarmac rats? Fine. But it'll be their lives weighing heavy on your soul. And if you take Arasaka's deal, well, you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Try this with Pen Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh. Just wanna be there for it. Where? Johnny? Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? 
I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. This might not fly over the hollow. Makoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child. Curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Huh. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistaking that ride ever. 
scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. The solid salt. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you... V. Finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. It would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Sounds doable in theory to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. See, B, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... it's... an AI from uh, past the Blackwall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul.
Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That America's long gone and forgot. Prep coming along all right? <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. Can it, Bobby? Lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. The hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? Talk later then, I guess. Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors. Every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist... You and I would have nothing to discuss. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor is rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. 
This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side, not so? Talking about Sinusure, the black wall algorithms, what went down in that bunker. Indeed, in colliding with your reality, their infinite permutability would grant them their desired tangible form. Had you let them slip through, they would have become your psyche, become you. Fortunately, your reality's technology is too rudimentary to let open the floodgates. In limiting you, it limits them, keeps them at bay, though this will not last. You will hasten this change, for you have something that belongs to them. A deadly weapon to you, a backdoor to the future for them. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Saul, you want an award? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. That downright injustice it is. It needs fixing! You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Sorry. Are you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors too, but to be an Aldecaldo, I... I don't know if you Just should... Just answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, dammit. Great to Thanks have you with us, Thanks for everything, B, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Mikoshi. Isn't that the welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo! 
<laughs> he flabbergasted. To the What's he gonna say? Easy to gain a Cobra's trust than an Alda Caldos. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. We'll some raise a toast to you! Glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? I miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it. In your heart, the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too then. Night City, you're alone. Even in a crowd. But here... Feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Listen to this. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. What's this? Got any left? Yard sales, some sort. Have. You have to look around. Take what you want. So maybe I'll and take two more the occasion forty-fives. The would be. Seeing as Dakota seems to be the feeling generous time. today. Worthy gesture. Dramatic even. Actually pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Some folks used to laugh at them Europeans. All them countries, tongues, cultures on top of each other. We had the melting pot. We just threw everything in. Well, history is a sign of one of them and bitch, isn't it? I mean, look at this country now. What country? Exactly. Or how about this? Do you know where I saw the most stars? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. You'll be steering this butte tomorrow. Would you like to give her a whirl? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. Fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. Probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we 
we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one I'm good thanks back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters God knows what else they shot them into our veins our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. I don't want to come off as an ungrateful ass, but... I really hope this camp morale doesn't spill into tomorrow. It won't. Saul and Pan Am did one thing right, at least. They welcomed you into the clan. Not a one will abandon you in your hour of need. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Pan Am will lose her chance of taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways... Blame falls on Pan Am. She's the one brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. So this is where you escape to when you need to think. I never escape. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. 
Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them, and who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'll be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. <laughs> <laughs>